Hello again, my name is Ehi Aimiwo. This is the fourth series of uh, this six um, si uh, math program, or the six series math program, on how to make math easy for our students. I love it, it's a hobby. I like to break the fears of students, let them know that um, it's cool to be good in math, okay? I've been teaching for 10 years and I like to make this video so that kids can watch, or even adults can watch to see how easy algebra math problems can be. A fourth problem most students have is lowest common multiple and greatest common factor, LCM and GCF. The key word here, when you deal with LCM, it's multiple. The answers are usually very big because there are multiples of these numbers. Why the greatest common factor, the key word is factor. The answers are usually very small and sometimes none because they have nothing in common, no factors in common. Let's first break down these numbers into prime factorization before we begin. The prime factors of 12, you use prime numbers to break them down. That's why it's called prime factorization. Um, the smallest prime number is 2 is, and it's the only even prime number. Uh, a prime number is a number that is divisible by 1 and itself. So therefore, uh, we don't count 0 and 1 as prime numbers. 2 is the smallest prime number. So 12 can be broken down into 2 and 6. It's equal 2, which is a prime number. 6 is not a prime number. So we have to break 2 down further. 6 can be broken down into 2 and 3. Now I can stop because 2 and 3 are both prime numbers. Nothing else can divide them. So the prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 times 3. The prime factorization of 18, 18 is 2 and 9. 2 times 9 gives you 18. 2 is a prime number. 9 is not. 9 can be broken down into 3 and 3. These are both prime numbers. So 18 is 2 times 2 times 3. Oh, no, sorry. 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 3 times 3. 42, the smallest prime number that can go into 42 is 2. 2 into 42 gives us 21. 2 is a prime number. 21, 2 will go into 21. So the next uh, prime number will be 3. 3 will go into 21 seven times. And 7 is a prime number, so I can stop. So 42 is 2 times 3 times 7. 2 times 3 times 7. Now, let's solve these two problems. What's the lowest common multiple of 12, 18, and 42? I see two kinds of numbers here. I see 2s, 3s, and 7. I'm going to take the longest chain of each number because I'm looking for the multiple. I'm looking for something big. So I take the longest twos. I have one two here, one two here, two twos here. So I take those two. I have threes. I have one three here, two threes here, one three there. I take these two threes. I have, um, and I see a seven. There is no seven here. There is no seven here. But I'll take the seven. So the lowest common multiple will be two times two times three times 3, times 7. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. 36 times 7. 36 times 7. 7 times 6 is 42. Carry 4. 7 times 3 is 21. 22, 23, 24, 25. So the lowest common multiple of 12, 18, and 42 is 252. That means if you take the 12 timetable, the 18 timetable, and the 42 timetable, the first number you get to that they have in common is 252. Now let's look at the greatest common factor. The keyword is factor. We are looking for something very small, if there is any at all that they have in common. All right? I see a 2 here, I see a 2 here, and I see a 2 here. So there's a 2 in each of them. So I put a 2 here. 
times. Well, I see a 2 here, but there's no other 2. I see a 3 here, a 3 here, and a 3 here. So I take a 3. And I see a 7 here, but no 7 here, no 7. It has to have the same number in each of them. So at the end of the day, the lowest common, or the greatest common factor of 12, 18, and 42 is 6. That means 6 is the greatest number that can divide 12, 18, and 42. There is 2, there is 3, and there is 6, but 6 is the greatest common factor. That's how you solve that problem. Okay? So, don't be scared of math. A lot of people feel uh, black males are uh, criminals, drug dealers, baby manners. That's not always true. I'm a father. I'm a teacher. I, once to, I used to teach um, college classes. I taught business courses in Atlanta colleges. We are, I'm a father of two kids. Don't let the media convince you bad people are bad. That's not true. It's because of high rate of unemployment that makes them go for that route like crime and drugs. If black, educated black men were given a chance to teach and find good jobs and be paid fairly, believe me, they're one of the nicest people you ever meet in the world, like myself. So good luck with your math and God bless.